Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a couple of very interesting stories, but we'll start with this one, as you can see Ban Chao commenting on the whole Andrew Jack situation, and basically sort of not really apologizing, but admitting that he was wrong. For those of you who don't even know who Ben Chao is, he's Hunter Labrada's coach and also he's a co-host at Fuera Biat's podcast, so at that podcast he said that he saw Andrew in person and he said that he wasn't impressed, he thought Andrew is not gonna do very well against the top pros and obviously he was very wrong. Let me play this part of the podcast for you so you can hear what he said. I actually saw him in person last week in Vegas. Impressive? In the, in the gym. Yes and no. Yes like, from the front, no from the back? Yeah. I mean, he wasn't shipped down, he was just training in a, in a tank. Yeah. And it's like... There's a big frame to fill. And when mm -hmm. I'm looking at the likes of, say, I'm, yes, impressive in isolate on his own, right? But yeah, the, right. The, cha the, the chatter at the minute is Olympia. And I'm like, oh, what yeah. the f are you talking about? Like, there is yeah, such a big happens. gap. There's such a big gap between when even doing well at a uh, pro show and mm -hmm. the, the top boys at the Olympia. Like, there, there is a people, huge gap there. Huge people, people, people huge well. joke. The, the disrespect of the top 10 Olympians well, from where they're saying they're going to walk into the top six or walk in. Uh, like I saw someone said, oh, um, Rami needs to be on point because Andrew's coming. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> All right. So obviously Ben was very, very wrong. And he actually got to see Andrew in person. He didn't see him posing in person, but he saw him training in the tank top. And what Ben says is basically he looks good uh, standing there alone. But compared to the other guys, he won't look that impressive. At least that's what Ben thought. But in Ben's defense, he did say that the chatter of the moment is Andrew cracking the top six in the Mr. Olympia. And he was talking about that. He wasn't necessarily talking about him winning Texas or Arnold UK, he was talking about him being one of the top guys, you know, challenging Rami, and he didn't see that at the moment, it would be great that he saw that potential that Andrew absolutely does have, but he didn't, and I think that's reasonable, how could you believe that somebody who was uh, an amateur a couple of months ago uh, would win and actually annihilate this kind of a show, and then potentially be in conversation actually to be top 6 at the Mr. Olympia, it is really hard to see something like that, as you guys know, a lot of bodybuilders look great on their photos standing alone, but it hardly ever trends translates to the stage, it's really a rare case that somebody really lives up to the hype just like Andrew did, and Ben was simply driven by logic, by common sense, so he missed this, he didn't see the potential that Andrew had, and he sounded really sure about this, he was so convinced that Andrew is not really you know, a real deal, and he said this openly on the most popular bodybuilding podcast in the world, and it backlashed, he was very very wrong, and so he got a lot of hate for this, and this is his response, his comment on the whole situation, check it out. Apparently my opinion matters, I'm not sure why, but apparently it does. Um, I received a lot of messages about my comments towards Andrew Jack, um, about how I was yeah, of course I was damn wrong. I was way wrong. After prejudging, I walked directly up to him and George. And I told him, directly to his face, I shook his hand. And I told him, that was bloody impressive. And he had a great physique. And he wins the show. I told the man directly to his face. That's all I needed to do. But now apparently I have to do it online for all of you as well. So here we are. So that's about it guys, Ben missed this, he didn't see the potential even though he saw Andrew in person and he was very wrong, he admits that. I'd like to say one thing though, Ben is not sure why his opinion matters and why he needs to explain this to, to people, that is because he is a co-host of the biggest bodybuilding podcast in the world, I don't think he is aware how many people are actually watching that show, everybody is watching that show, so that's why it matters when you say something on that show. And I personally appreciate honesty, I appreciate that Ben said what he thought even though he was wrong, there is nothing bad about that, he just said what he thought and he admits now his mistake. Also, Ben comments on Roman Fritz situation. 
I'm sure you guys know, Robin Fritz spent the last week before Texas at Ben Zhao's house and Ben helped him in that uh, final week before Texas in his peak week and based on the photos before the show, Roman actually looked improved, he looked better, he looked bigger, fuller, rounder, drier even and I think he also looked better on the stage than he did at Tampa, I think he was again sharper, fuller, rounder and he didn't do well, he was, he was actually worse than he was at Tampa, at Tampa he was 11th, here he was 13th and I think it's pretty much the same thing, basically there, are, there were more competitors at Texas, it was a tougher show, tougher lineup, but it doesn't matter, both cases, both shows are failures and once again Roman didn't do well at a show and a lot of people are wondering what happened in that week, what did these guys do, why did they do different, How? why did Roman improve and I think he did improve you know, it still didn't matter that much because the lineup was so tough, but he did improve a little bit and people want to know what happened in that week, what did they do, what was the approach, and here is Ben's response. I also had another thing, because I got a lot of things like, what's happening with Roman, you know, posting, what's happening, about this, but everything has to be shared and posted. Yeah, unfortunately we are not gonna get a response on that one, he doesn't wanna say it, but maybe he's gonna talk about that on Fuwa Rabiat's podcast, and if he does, I'll make sure to inform you guys, so if you don't wanna miss that out, subscribe to this channel, and also if you're enjoying these videos, subscribe, it means a lot. If you guys are looking for something refreshing that's also gonna help you build muscle, I would recommend Vintage Build for you. I know the prices of supplements skyrocketed lately, but Old School Labs kept its uh, its quality. And also, if you use my code Ivan, you get a 15% discount. That's right, now it's 15%. So the link is down below. And if you want to support me and my channel, buying one of these supplements uh, and using my code Ivan is definitely of a great help. Alright, the next thing I wanted to talk about is Derek Lansford downsizing. Take a look at Derek right here. He's standing next to Tim Budesheim. And you guys know that Tim, you know, he's a great bodybuilder. He is big and all, but he's not exactly a mass monster. A couple of months ago, if it has been that long, these guys, Derek Lansford and Nick Walker, did a guest posing at Pittsburgh Pro. And the star of that show, of that guest posing, was Derek Lansford. He surprised everybody so much, and he stood next to the beast, the, the, the freak, the, the size monster, Nick Walker, and Derek held his own. He was really massive at that, at that guest posing, and he was not dwarfed by anybody here. If anything, he looked bigger and better than, than probably all of these guys. Maybe he wasn't as heavy as Nick, but but he had a smaller waist and he was in a little bit better conditioning so he probably looked more impressive at this guest posing. A couple of weeks ago Tim Boresheim visited Nick Walker and here is what these guys look like standing one next to another. As you can see Tim is a little bit taller, Nick is pretty short, he's about the same height as Derek, but here the situation is reversed. Nick Walker looks much bigger than Tim. Not that much bigger, but as you can see, Tim has an angle, he stepped closer to the camera, and still, he is not looking bigger than Nick, not even close, Nick definitely looks much bigger here. But if you look at this photo, it's quite a bit of a different story, right? Derek does look smaller, much smaller than Tim. Here is another photo taken at the same day, at the same album that he posted on IG, and as you can see, he, at least I can see it, he looks a little bit smaller than before, Maybe not smaller, but less round, less impressive. And Honey Rambo just did a podcast with Fuad Abiyar, and in that podcast, he says that Derek is around 248, 252. Like, what is he at right now? 250? Mm hmm. Yeah, like he's, he's, he's hovering between 248 and 252. Hasn't he said recently, a couple of months ago, after that guest posing that Derek was up to 260, almost, like 259? So Derek right now is about 10 pounds lighter. If you're thinking maybe he looked that big at that guest posing because the lighting was good, because he was, I don't know, pumped up, because he had some tan on, or maybe because he actually prepared for this, he did a mini cut or he did a peak week. Well, I don't know if it is true, but Honey said that Derek never really even knew that he's gonna guest pose. He wasn't sure if that's gonna happen, but because Remy pulled out, they invited Derek basically last minute and he did it and he looked like this. And here is another thing that I wanted to show you. This is a photo of Derek. Just walking there in the gym 
after that guest posing maybe like a week after and as you can see he seemed really big really full really round you can especially see it in the neck and trap area also his uh, double chin is showing it and that's not fat that's actually just muscle i believe so he was really massive here as you can see shoulders chest traps neck his face looks huge so he was definitely big he was really big here as they said around 260 but now he seems downsized and there are two possibilities for this why is this the case if i am right of course i don't know if i'm seeing this correctly but i'm pretty sure he looks smaller why is that well first thing probably the case is that he simply went off He's cleaning his body, he's off the cycle, and that's why he looks smaller, maybe a little bit uh, softer. Or he is actually gonna do the 212 and he doesn't need to grow anymore and he's gonna be off the gear until he starts dieting because Mr. Olympia is coming and if he's 260, there is no way he can make the 212. Last year he sacrificed muscle, this year he would have to sacrifice so much more muscle, so if he wants to do 212 again, he absolutely needs to downsize. And how he's gonna do that? Well, he's gonna do it by stepping off the gear and probably not eating a lot, a lot of protein. He still has to train because he needs to look good, he needs to look conditioned on that stage, but he probably, if he's, if he's doing this... He probably lowered his protein, his food intake overall, and uh, his gear. But if he's simply off the gear currently and he's about to start blasting, then that's a different story. And I don't know which one is true, which scenario is right. They are both just speculation. If you guys have any ideas, if you have any theories, or you know something that I don't, tell me in the comment section down below. Alright, next I wanted to talk about this guy and the question is really who the hell is he and how is he not a pro? Look at this freaking muscle bellies, this guy looks insane and the weirdest thing is that he is actually 15 weeks, almost 16 weeks out of his show and he's doing the nationals and he wants to turn pro over there and i'm positive he's gonna do it this year because he deserves a pro card this is a pro card worthy physique for sure as you can see his name is elliot dermond and he looks absolutely ridiculous now the question is what he's gonna do during those 16 weeks until the show i don't think he needs to work on his conditioning for 16 weeks so he's probably try to grow even more to work on you know quality to get harder more round just simply better and in 16 weeks what this package is gonna look i don't know he's actually really conditioned right now and super full super round muscle fibers are are, are popping like crazy take a look at it this is a freaky physique and you know what's the craziest thing of all? This guy is actually 24 years old. That's right, that's what his Instagram says. I don't know if it's true, if he's lying, but apparently he's 24. Guys, 24 years old. <laughs> it's insane, looking like this in 24. I don't know where these mutants are coming from, but I'm sure about one thing. This guy is gonna have a pro card before this year is over. And that's gonna do it for this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this, again guys, please subscribe, thank you so much for all your support, all the best guys and bye bye.